Hey, Mom. Hi. How you doing? I'm wonderful. I just miss you. I miss you, too. Well, being out here alone in L.A., it's kind of what I want, but at the same time, it's kind of not. I mean, I don't really like it that much. <laughs> I like being with my family or, you know, somebody that I already know. Just calling to check on y'all. Want to say I love you. Love you. Love y'all. Just, you know, helping me, you know, develop into uh, a man, I guess. <laughs> My name is KJ McDaniels. I went to Clemson University from Birmingham, Alabama, and I'm 21 years old. I came to LA to work out, to, you know, just polish my game up before going into workouts. When I think about the draft, I, um, you know, it definitely is an adrenaline rush. Um, just thinking about it now is an adrenaline rush, but, you know, when I'm in the moment, you know, I'm just gonna be happy and just thank God and, you know, just go up there and shake Mr. Silver's hand. I decided I wanted to be a basketball player when I was five, and I watched my dad play. He used to take me to the gym with him all the time. My high school, I was there my freshman and sophomore year. It wasn't really a big basketball school, and my mom transferred me to Central Park Christian. It was more of a basketball-oriented school. I got a lot of looks from there, and Central Park helped me get to Clemson. I don't remember the day. I think I just came to the gym after the game. I met the coach, he was like, I'm with Clemson University, you know, like, wow, nice to meet you. So it was a big deal. And, you know, it was surprising because it was my only ACC school that was recruiting me. I grew up watching ACC, so to have them come in there in that little gym to recruit me, it was, it was a good feeling. This KJ right here was my first tattoo. I got it in my eighth grade summer, going to the ninth. God's wills because, I mean, it's, it's I'm fortunate enough to, you know, be out of, you know, Bama and, you know, get get somewhere. Up here at the top, I got sky's the limit because you know, a few people told me I can't, and you know, I wasn't really having it, so I went and got this tattooed on me. What pushes me the most is just, you know, thinking about where I came from, knowing how I used to be out there with the older guys and staying out like late at night when the street lights came on. It's definitely still like, you know, something in me I don't like. It's it's like a heart of a lion almost. 20 years of working with draft guys, you can tell on the first day whether the guy has the work ethic or the ability to get somewhere. So working with him from the start has been awesome. You know, I, I push myself, you know, even passing when my body is hurt. I know that's gonna you know, make me better. With Joe, I've been working on a lot of shoot, one dribble pull-ups, a lot of dribble moves. He can defend, he can get out on the break, he can finish in transition, and he's gonna surprise a lot of people with his outside skills. So I take it to uh, 6 6 195? <laughs> Coming out of school, the thing I'm most nervous about is traveling. Like, I don't, I don't travel that much. I, I usually travel with my family. You know, I'm going to run across different things, and New York has great pizza. And you know, I feel like I eat that the most if I was to go there. But um, I don't think I eat that healthy. I think I just. I just eat whatever I really see and what I know from back home. You know, I don't really try too many new new foods unless I'm with my mom. I, I totally trust her. Good. Good. Yeah. Outside of basketball, I like to hang with my family the most, uh, hang with my friends from the neighborhood. I like to spend time with my dogs and, you know, just, just pretty much chill out, you know, play video games, watch movies, <laughs> uh, eat. Well, the Drew League, I watched it on YouTube, and you know, I never thought I'd be able to like go, go into that gym and you know, be around those caliber players. You don't get to play with that many like celebrities or too many pro athletes that come in here. Just me and Baron Davis, it was it was a great experience for me, and you know, I was kind of starstruck just because it's him. So he went through the same thing I went through, just to. You know, be able to meet him is an honor. It's, it's a different focus when you when, when you lace your shoes up. I feel like every time you lace your shoes up, you got to go out there and just you know try to dominate and, and kill. You know, even if there's nobody out there with you.